Hey guys, it's Anfield here. Welcome to my video for my mod pack for patch 9.12. Uh, this video is coming out right before I'm going to release the pack, so uh, it's a very early version, uh, and you will need to probably check back for future versions for bug fixes if I need to fix bugs, or in this case I don't have the session statistics up because there's not a working version. So if you want that, you will have to keep checking back. But either way, uh, everything else pretty much is ready to go. So uh, you got dual carousel with the extra f filter features, which you guys be used to by now. Um, also, it shows you your, you know, whether you've mastered the tank. You know how many marks of excellence are on the tanks uh, down here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty standard, your dual carousel with the f filters, and then um, if you hover over the tanks, uh, it gives you more information about the tank, uh, which my favorite part is the elevation numbers, um, which you can see. So, service record is pretty standard, you guys will use this as well, it just gives all your stats up here in the corner and everything else with the tank. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, until the... The session statistics are updated and working. Uh, for now, there won't be one. Um, you're welcome to try and manually add one if you find one that does work for you. Um, pretty much, I only really like Gas and Crisons, and I think Solo's the only one updating that at the moment, so we'll just see how he does with that. I, I can always look for another one, though. So, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the hangar, guys. So, I'm going to hop into a battle. Okay, so we just loaded into a battle here. Um, there we go. So, this is pretty much what you guys will be used to if you're using my mob pack. Um, these are your over target markers. You've got the W8 of every tank around you, including the enemy tanks above them. So, when you're fighting, you don't have to check the tab screen to see. Uh, on alt, it has win rate as well. If that's you know interesting. Um, up here, we've got the battle uh, total HP for the battle on both sides and also the required damage per game or damage per game damage in the game uh, that will be required for high caliber um, down here we have um, the damage panel edition it basically changes the UI layout for this um, see-through as well it's a little bit more clean and also it's a bit more obvious I think to tell if, if things are broken on your tank and um, you know the repair time on that. Um, other than that, we have a hit log up here, so when I start doing damage, that'll accumulate up there. Uh, the reticle is my blue reticle, so if you want to add a panel to this, you can just Google one. You can add Jimbo's or something if you want. Um, it's really up to you. So as I bounce that lower plate or whatever, um, it did come up about the damage, so here it says damage done, this type of round used. Um, and then the tank name, and then a short version of the player name. So, for example, Thingle is coming up as Thing. Um, and you can see the damage panel also is accumulating the damage. Um, so, in the actual tab, you know, or battle screen, you've got all your st normal stuff, tank names and things like that. Um, you know, the amount of thousands of battles, your W and A score, um, your win rate percent. Um, I was tempted to change W8 um, to <laughs> the wargaming system, the uh, personal one that they have, but uh, maybe I'll just keep it at W8, I don't know. I don't really like any metric, but whatever, if you want it, it's there. Um, one day x will be removed and that'll be the happiest day of my life, but for now, there it is. Six cents, you can see, is a larger custom version. Um, this was just so easier to learn. The little tiny one is actually easy to miss, so... I've kept that over the years because I think it's um, the easiest one, Rip I7, the easiest one to notice and you know it's the most non-retarded looking thing. Um, over here you can see the enemies, you can see obviously skulls mean they're dead but that's obvious by the red anyway, but um, you can see whether they've been lit at all. For example, the T92 has not been lit and so is the Jagdpanzer E100, um, so they have no light bulb. These have been lit, but are currently not lit, so they have a white light bulb. And then the ones that are currently lit, see, they're getting lit, so they have a yellow light bulb. So that's pretty self-evident. Um, nothing out of the ordinary there. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything, guys. I mean, there's not a whole lot 
left to talk about. Um, you guys are pretty used to it by now. Um, this is lay zoom out for extra tactical overview of the map. Um, so yeah, if you guys find bugs, you can let me know and I'll be updating it. But just make sure that you are ready to um, check in uh, uh, for updates to the patch. I just need to look at something real quick. Yeah, okay. Um, if you're going to use my mod pack, you need to, if you have this on always, which I do because I play vanilla, you're going to have to put on never instead because otherwise it's going to show up double for everything because obviously the wargaming map now has those those uh, last scene features and things like that. So just make sure that because you're using my mod pack, you turn um, this to never because otherwise, yeah, you'll see double of everything. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, not a whole lot else to talk about, so I'll just run this battle out. And again, guys, please, please, please don't um, come to me with problems if you haven't checked back for a new version, because uh, people do that a lot, and it kind of sucks. So, yeah. <laughs> if, there, if there is an issue with the pack, I will address it as soon as possible. Um, but just double check before you report an issue to me, you're using the most recent version of the pack. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoy. Uh, I always encourage people to use vanilla, but if you have to use a mod pack, then, you know, uh, so be it. I try to keep this one as minimalist as possible, not in your face with too many fancy things. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you want to support, just leave a like and share and all that good stuff. I'm not going to drag on, so yeah. I'll see you guys later, and good luck on the battlefield.